How did you see the five games when you come away with seven points? Yeah, we thought we played well. We actually uh, felt like we let a few slip away. We felt like we could have come out of there with nine or ten points, and um, that's something we're not going to dwell on, but we're going to keep in the back of our mind knowing that uh, we can go out and sweep anyone. And uh, We kind of put our best foot forward there on that road trip, um, kind of turned our, our fortunes around on the road there and, and, and came out with the points we needed. You know, earlier on in the season, it was tough to find points on the road. Clearly, that's not the same. And you're talking about pushing for nine or ten points uh, on an away spell. So what's different for this team? How's the mindset at this time of year? Uh, I think we're confident. We understand the position we're in. Um, we understand how tight the races are right now, and, and we know every point matters. And um, The mindset we had going into that road trip was we wanted to take every single point that we could, and um, we managed to get 7 of 10, like you said. And um, It's a good road trip for us, but at the same time, we still have a lot of work to do here. Um, we got no help from the other teams in the league. Uh, teams around us continue to win, which is what we expect as well, and uh, we got to continue to uh, push forward here the last seven. Talks with some of the players about these one goal games. You've been in so many of them of late. It seems like there's a, almost a comfort zone with that. Is there a, a kind of a peace of mind with your team playing in these close games? Yeah, we've played about 70 close games so far out of uh, <laughs> this season. So, uh, yeah, we're comfortable with it. And that's something that's going to be huge, especially going into the playoffs. There are no blowouts when, when those games come around. So, um, we've kind of been in playoff mode here for uh, two or three months. and. Um, we've been able to uh, put ourselves in a good spot coming home here, and um, now we just got to continue what we uh, we built out on the road there and uh, continue our push. Tucker Pullman out of the lineup. Uh, how does the defense core react to missing a player like that? Yeah, huge loss for us. Uh, obviously, a great impact player for us, and um, the guys that step in. It's it's kind of been happening all year, and um, we talked about a comfort level, and that's something we continue to have here. Um, our decor is close. Our whole team is close. Whenever someone goes down, which we've seen more than enough this year, uh, guys have stepped in, and, and guys know exactly the role they have to come in and play, and and uh, how we can be successful with with the guys that are dressed on any particular night. So we're just going to continue to do that. Um, yeah, it sucks to lose Tuck, but uh, at the same time, we got got to move forward, and uh, we're going to try to do that collectively. What about a young goalie like Mikhail Burden uh, coming in uh, and getting a chance to play regularly here at such an important time of the year? What have you seen from his reaction to the bright lights? Yeah, he's done a fantastic job. He's a bit of a, uh, a different style goalie from what you're used to seeing. Um, these days, great with the puck, uh, flashy, makes big saves, and uh, and we've needed all of that. And he helps us out a ton back there, getting to rims, playing pucks for us, uh, saves us taking multiple hits a game, which is huge for the decor, especially as you said when when guys are banged up. And uh, if he continues to do what he's been doing, uh, we'll be more than happy with uh, his play. Yeah, you mentioned uh, Tucker Pullman out of the lineup. J.C. Lapon goes down injured as well. Uh, an important part of the leadership group of the team. How do you make up for that element of the club? Yeah, like you said, uh, he he plays a big part in our locker room. Um, that being said, there are a bunch of other guys in there that don't wear letters on a day-to-day -day basis that um, that carry a lot of weight and, and whose words uh, have a lot of influence on especially the younger guys. So uh, I have no doubt uh, the, the older guys in the room uh, will step up and, and fill that void left by lip. You know, when you talk about that, how about Ryan White uh, coming back from injury and, and producing five goals in 11 games and, and a lot of great energy as well? Yeah, you could see the experience he's had in this league and, and, and the NHL and, and what he brings to our room. Um, he's kind of our, our dad out there. He's the oldest guy in the room by quite a bit. So uh, a great guy to bounce ideas off and a great guy to, to go to if you need anything, regardless of whether you're my age or, or whether you're an 18-year-old in the league. So um, he's great to have back, and uh, obviously he's been producing for us as well. I know you can't take anything for granted, but uh, is there a confidence at least in coming home and knowing you've only lost twice in regulation your last 20 here? Yeah, honestly, I uh, didn't know that number. Not something we uh, think about or put up on the board or anything like that. We just got to continue to do what we do on a game-to-game -game basis, and, and that changes on a nightly basis as well. Uh, some days guys aren't feeling great in there, and uh, you got to play a little bit different style of game in order to get those points. But uh, as you can see recently, both at home and on the road, we've, we've managed to play the style that we need to, to come out on top. And um, as we talked a little bit about before, they're all going to be close games, and we understand that. And um, we got a scrap and claw here to find uh, points any way we can.